Let's take a look at how we can connect Brevo, formerly known as Sending Blue, to our Drive dashboard. The steps to create this connection are pretty straightforward. What we'll need to do is, of course, access our Drive dashboard and scroll down to get to the API Connections card where we have to click on Manage Connections. Here we'll see a list of all of the active connections that we have previously connected. And now to add a new one, of course, we're going to have to click here and select the app to which we want to connect. Of course, from the list, select Brevo, formerly Send in Blue. And as you can see, we will need to get the API key that we'll have to paste here. So for that, I'm going to access my Brevo account. Here I am in my dashboard. I'm going to go to the right side where my username is and click right here, which will open a small menu. And I'm going to go to the SMTP and API section. We will have a separate tab for API keys right here. So I'm going to click on it. And here you'll have a list of your API keys. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to generate a new one by clicking on this button from the top right section and I'm going to name it. Then I'm going to click on generate. And as simple as that, the key has been generated. I'm going to copy the key and go back to my drive dashboard. Naturally, I'm going to paste the key in this field. And then in case you would like to also send transactional emails from your Brevo account, all you have to do is click on yes here. And we're all set, we can click on connect and the connection has been successfully made. Now, as a next step, what you can do is connect the lead generation element to your Brevo account so that whenever someone signs up on a form, for example, they receive an email which has been sent using Brevo. So let's go ahead and access a page or a post and see how we can connect the lead generation element to Brevo. So on any page or post, you are able to click on the plus sign from the right sidebar in the editor and drag and drop a lead generation element. As you do that, you'll simply have to select a template for it and its options will appear in the left sidebar. Now to create the connection to Brevo, we'll have to use this add connection button and this will let you access the list of all of the services that you've previously connected to your Drive dashboard through API. So if we scroll down here, we'll find Brevo as well. From this small pop-up here, you'll be able to choose the mailing list where the contact will go once they fill in and sign up using this form. So I'm going to click on apply and then all of the rest of the elements of this lead generation element can be customized. So as you can see, you'll have the form fields right here. And in case you want to add or remove fields, you can do so from this section. You can remove the phone field, for example, and add a new one if that's what you need. And then if you want to customize the aspect of the elements inside your lead generation form, you can click on edit form elements and this will give you full access to modifying anything that's needed inside the form. So this is how you can connect any lead generation element to Brevo. And now another thing you can do is connect your Drive Leads form to Brevo. And I'm going to show you how to do that, but you'll see that the process is very similar to this one. Let's go ahead and access our Drive Leads dashboard. And once we're in the dashboard, we'll have to find a lead group where the form that we want to connect to Brevo is. So let's take this one, for example, and then here is going to be all of the types of forms that you've added into this lead group. Choose the one that you want to connect to Brevo and click on edit. And this is going to be the only lightbox form that we have added here. So I'm going to click on edit design and this is going to open the drive editor. As you can see, this drive leads form already has a form inside it. And if I click on it, we're going to see the same options in the left sidebar. And this is because behave the same whether they are placed in drive architect pages or posts or drive leads forms. So that being said, this means that to connect this form to a Brevo account, all you have to do is click on add connection here. And from this list, again, go ahead and choose Brevo and choose your desired mailing list from the next field. Now click on apply and you're all set. Now, whenever someone signs up or fills in their email using this form, they are going to be added to your Brevo mailing list. As you saw, this form came with this template of a form, but if you want, you can remove it. And again, just go ahead and open the list of elements from the right sidebar. Look for the lead generation element and drag and drop it anywhere you want into your drive leads template. And then you can customize this as needed, as well as create the connection to Brevo, which can be done really easily and quickly as you've just seen. 
So this is how you can connect your Thrive dashboard to your Brevo account and thus having your users that sign up to your forms be added to your Brevo mailing list. Hopefully this tutorial was useful and make sure to check out the rest of the articles and tutorials from our knowledge base as well as YouTube channels.